Also, I'm planning a trip that involves going under a bridge that has a pretty low clearance, and I need to determine the the air draft for the boat to see if I can make it under that bridge. An air draft is the distance from the waterline all the way up to the very top of the mast to the highest point to the top of the highest piece of equipment and on this boat that is a VHF antenna to measure the air draft on this boat I'm going to use a measuring tape and then secondly I'll use a laser measuring tool and this one's good up to 55 feet To illustrate the use of the tape measure and the laser measuring tool, we have a diagram here with Mr. Stickman standing on the dock. And by the way, the dock floats with the tide, so it's always going to be the same distance above the water. So Mr. Stickman has his laser pointer, laser measuring tool in hand at chest level, holding it with two hands to keep it steady. And he's going to shoot directly across to the base of the mast to get B. Secondly, He's going to shoot the distance all the way up to the very top of the mast, holding the laser tool at the same position. And that gives us H, the hypotenuse of a triangle. And you can see that we can then, using these two numbers, calculate M, the, the length of the mast from the top of the deck to the top of the masthead. The next thing we need to measure is the distance from the laser tool down to the water. And since the laser tool does not reflect off water, we have to use the physical tape and drop it over the side down to the surface of the water. The last piece we need is the length of the tallest piece of equipment that's on top of the masthead. In this case, it's the VHF antenna. One thing uh, to note is doing these measurements in the evening just after sunset makes it much easier because it's easier to see the red dot from the laser tool on the mast when there's a little bit of darkness in the sky, especially in this measurement trying to hit the very top of the mast. So in the end, the air draft is going to be W plus M plus T, and that'll give us the total distance or the total uh, length of the air draft of this vessel. So this is just a quick review of the calculation air draft is equal to W plus M plus T as we saw in the previous diagram. And we know that the mast length from the deck to the top of the masthead comes from the Pythagorean theorem of right triangles. And when we solve that for M, we get this bit of a mess, square root of H squared minus B squared. And put that into our original equation and we get a little bigger mess but then we start putting numbers in there. Uh, for this particular measurement, the hypotenuse is 47.1 feet, the base was 24.5, the laser tool was held six feet above the water, and the antenna on top of the mast was three feet. So putting those numbers into this equation and doing a crunch, you get an air draft of 49 feet for this vessel. The bridge that I want to go under is, has, is, has a stated clearance of 50 feet. The clearance for a bridge is measured at mean high tide, and for that particular bridge, the mean high tide is 9 feet. So what that tells me is if I wait until the tide is at 4 feet or less, then I'm going to have an extra 5 feet of clearance in order to get under that bridge. So with that, then I can go to the tide book and find days in July and August when we want to make this trip that would accommodate getting to the bridge when the tide is at four feet or less and making our transit uh, a little less um, stressful.